Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. I'm the Mysterious JG, and we're done with the Omega DLC. I'll let the towering figure of Commander Shepard welcome you back. Um, one thing I forgot, an impact of having not gotten the sofa, is that Omega Assist Harret, Parrot, whatever, will be there forever, much like Eden Prime Resistance movement before it. Uh, we will never ever be able to uh, finish that quest, and it's just going to sit there. Sucking away our soul. But we got Arya to become a kinder, gentler dictator who still uses F bombs in her speeches. And uh, I guess we have uh, a new intelligence asset. I don't know if he counts as a war asset. I guess we can go to the war room and check. And then there was this. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tip Tree? Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Okay, then we're as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. I'm the Shadow Rogue, by the way. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since, uh, she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only I mean, little my dad. Kid. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Aww. It's getting serious, folks. Uh, yeah, so this I already saw because uh, that's why I was like, I was wandering around. I was like, oh, okay, I guess this does mean I can do a video roughly worth of wandering around the ship chit chatting with people because new stuff's happening, I guess. Uh, without getting started on another long DLC. I continue to be Joy Gunther. Anyway, um. I, at the minimum, want to go back to the, and it's ridiculous. We can do this. We can go back to the Citadel and visit with Arya, and I think we will before this one's over. But Commander Joker, it says Commander Edie. Auxiliary power units are depleted to eighty-two point zero four percent capacity. This should be you corrected. This trick. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Well. What it, are you suggesting that like a major function of my ship just broke? Oh well, sounds zany. Hello, Shepard. Hey, what up, lady? Lady robot, robot lady. Penelope Vanderspeets. Penelope pit stop. I mean, gotta get into the war room. Gotta see if I got. How many points I don't need I got for doing the Omega DLC. Mountains of Ezo, I was promised. That means something. Hey there, Commander Crouch. Yeah, we've maxed out our military strength, so... Terminus Fleets, Rachni Workers, Bolus Dreadnought... Elcor Flotilla, Shadow Broker Wet Squad, uh... Yeah, Omega Ezo Horde. That's more than the Citadel Defense Force is worth. This weird off-the-wall number suggests there's something I missed that I could be using to upgrade uh, that, but... A con artist exploiting the Citadel refugees was thrown off the Citadel. Jeez. It's just, yeah. But anyway, Ezo Horde... Raiding fleet. Oh, I do get some war points for this guy for what it's, you know. Finds officials believe Petrovsky can still provide substantial critical information on server activities and are likely to approve the asylum procedures that have been started by the Alliance Legal Aid assigned to Petrovsky's case. Okay, so they've been questioning him and he's been giving them stuff. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's alien. So he's an alien? Weird. I guess he's not considered alliance. X Cerberus is a category. Cerberus is not. We got new Krogan stuff. Krogan clans. Fierce, toxic immune creatures known as cacleosaurs, once used as battle mounts by the Krogan, have been cloned by the fossilized cacleosaur skull. Discovered by Commander Shepard. That's great. Pervert the course of nature, Commander Shepard. You've earned the right. 
We don't get any extra points for having determined that there are such things as Turian females. So Krogan are our biggest uh, source of points, other than the Alliance itself. And now, I guess by virtue, well, you got to throw in the Elcor and Volus stuff that's been here. But uh, by virtue of doing the uh, the DLC, you get a whole bunch of extra war assets for um, this. Yeah, there's a whole hodgepodge of stuff in there. There's a new Alliance points, engineering, first fleet. Haley, for some reason, counts for points more than Jack does. Something here was marked new, and I didn't stop on it long enough for it to register. Communication arrays. Four fleeing Entoram with Commander Shepard's ship. Okay, that's that little uh, side mission we did. I just, this character, I don't know. And the Asari, they continue to exist as well. Destiny Ascension is worth some points, and you have to go all the way back to the first Mass Effect game to ensure you save it if you really, really care about those points. So. But yeah, we have we already have access to all of the ending decisions during the final decision tree of the game. Um, I'm wondering if we should... Hey, lady. I'm wondering if we should go back and uh, see if we can call somebody. There's a communications array is over here. Again, Commander Crouch, hard at work. Oh, it's actually on one key, but... Uh, and it is not currently available to us, so never mind. Okay, so we're just gonna... I think we'll just spend a video, uh... Just kinda wandering around the ship. Commander. Hey, Private Westmoreland. How are you doing, Private East Less Water? Which is the opposite of West Moor Land. <laughs> uh, we're already at the CIC. I guess I'll head to the cabin and see if there's stuff. Hey, it's this music. It sounds kind of like music from the first game, but not quite. Look at Tally's picture again. There's a lot of glare on you in this picture, Tally. I don't know what that's about, but you appear to be outdoors. This is some kind of like glamour shot doctored photo. I mean, why are you outdoors? I seen your face only indoors before. Oh, I guess I can chillax on that point. Sound system. Don't think. Oh, that's right. We got a. Uh, his chest set is here as a uh, memento, and probably turns out to be a server's trap, but nothing special to do with that. Let's get down to the crew deck. Pick off engines before they set up armored turrets or engineers, or repair a damaged atlas. I was going to say pick up engineers to stop your ship from exploding. Your crew of engineers are clearly, clearly incompetent. Now, you know, I should be um, using the map to tell where people are, but I think I'll just go old school and wander around a bit. Hey there. Hey there. Maybe uh, the fact that Jeff and Edie had new stuff was just a random chance kind of thing, and I can't count on anyone else having something new to say. Maybe it just means I forgot them the last time I did one of these wonder about the ship videos. I don't really want to get into a whole new DLC tonight. So the fact that I've even started this video suggests it's going to be a bit of a wind down video for me. Not a whole lot's likely to happen, but I do want to visit Aria again. And we're going to, and it's going to be very silly. A pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you, Cliff. Hey. Uh, yeah, I don't have any choices to make here, so... It's good to see you. So good to see you. Okay, nothing new here. I... Yeah, I'm thinking... Oh, I was convinced, based on uh, Joker and Edie, that there's a whole bunch of... Hey, Commander, it would be so great if you got me some fresh ingredients over here. I was flashing back to Mass Effect 2. Now I'm flashing back to Mass Effect 1. Oh, man, it's hot under this heat lamp. 
Okay. That's enough of that. But yeah, I, I guess uh, the last time I wandered around and chatted with everybody, I forgot Joker and Edie, and that was what they would have had to say at that time. So now uh, they had new to say, new things to say, and nobody else does. Maybe later. Maybe now. Yeah, that's pretty clearly what happened then. So I guess I'm glad we got to hear about Joker's family tribulations and Edie's ability to kick him when he's down. Hello, Commander. I wonder if I gained new Ridicu powers uh, from having finished that DLC. Like I can now, um... Or maybe I already had it. I think I did actually. Flare. Yeah, I think I already had. Those are the two that we get. Flare and Lash. And I think I already had them from uh, the fact that this was a... Like, like, yeah. I don't know if using this uh, this Shepard character I'd played through those DLCs, so maybe not. But Flare and Lash, both biotic. I'm not using biotic powers with my Shepard. So we don't get to carry either one of those on with us in future battles. Tragic, I know. We'll have to overcome this together, folks. Just you and me, gentle viewer. Anyway... This is turning into a bit of a nothing okay. video. Toughest mission. All right. No fair. I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine. The dead reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle? And you're the one who likes things at short range. And you prefer yeah. to keep everything at a distance. The mm -hmm. husks, absolutely. Yeah, please. The creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. Your turn. I'm going with the Ragnar. But we didn't fight her uh, either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle like right towards you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. Not when it's spiders. Anyway, that's all I got. Good night, folks. Tip your waiters. Thanks for coming by. Now, get lost. <laughs> Use the back way. Thanks, little Richard. Now leave. <laughs> Use the back exit. Thanks for coming by. Okay, well, we got a little cutesy chit chat there, but. Nothing to report, Commander. Except for the ridiculous conversation between Garrison and Tally. Weren't that ridiculous? Nothing to report. Shepard. Alright, well, that was a good use of our time. Jack, is your spirit down here infusing the place with violence? Oh, Javik might be down here chilling out with the spirits of Jack, but she, he's not. Javik might have something new to say. It's its possible. You never know. Oh, that's right. Should have gone the other way. Check the uh, starboard cargo hold first, actually. Seeing all these primitives flying spaceships is... Unexpected and very dangerous. I shouldn't be out in space watching the ships fly by. For one who claims to be an expert on my people, your Asari knows very little. I want her killed. Commander. <laughs> You're just not a very nice guy. Commander. Tovarich, Commander. Yeah, I gotta pick one. Need uh, I'm trying to finish this LP before I get another really long-term project going, but I gotta think about getting Nobunaga's ambition or Allied General, one or the other. I gotta get it on. Commander. So wow, you really just have nothing for me, huh? Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. I don't know why that just came to me, but. Everything okay, Shepard? Yeah, honky dory. Got done uh, doing a bunch of missions with a bunch of hot. Well, not that hot. I mean, just kind of weird, creepy alien lesbos. But, um. One of them died. I guess that's sad. I. Eh, sorry. I'm gonna look and see if there's anything worth buying when I go back out there to the Citadel. Assault rifle piercing. Eh. 
lead attachment, extended barrel. Um, if you know, I happen by uh, Alliance Requisitions. That might be a good one. Where the heck is Alliance Requisitions? I don't remember finding that store like ever. Maybe I need to just freaking buy it here. Shotgun Omni Blades and stuff are for sale, so that was not some kind of like DLC only thing. Kestrel helmet. Fantastic for people who don't want to be able to see. Can upgrade the concentration mod. No, wait, I already have this. Is this, is this an upgrade? I've already got this. Small machine gun magazine. Koi uh, fish, eh? Oh, damn it, idiot. Alliance Requisitions is the name of this entire store I'm at now. I'm, my bad. It was Batarian State Arms that was selling the, uh... Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was Kanala Exports that was selling the concentration mod, so... Sort of supplies has nothing. They just do the metagel, right? Yeah. Pistol, pistol, assault rifle, inferno, nothing all that hot and exciting here. Pig or munitions, uh, washing glass, or at least you can see through that one. But I'm not all that concerned with that. Service encryption codes, I don't, I thought I'd already bought these. Well, I guess I'm going back there and doing that. I'm getting close to being able to afford that last uh, Spectre of Positions weapon, but... Yeah. And nothing here I care about. I am the very model of a modern... the um, Geth carrier, never mind. I'm not sure why I went into that. It made sense a moment ago. Are you just gonna say hey? Hey. That's what I thought. Alright, well, we'll hit the Citadel. Um, our next DLC launches from there anyway. Although, in order to initiate it, if I go to the Citadel to wander around free and just have fun looking at stuff, I will have to leave the Citadel and come back to the Citadel to initiate the DLC. And yet, for reasons that will shortly become apparent, I do want to make a trip to the Citadel. The video is only half over. Um, so... I don't know. I just don't know. So we're going to go to the Alliance docks. Dr. Bryson's lab starts the DLC, which I believe is called Leviathan. Personal apartment starts the DLC, which is just called Citadel. Citadel I'm going to put off until we get to the point where our next mission is and while I'm pretty sure that this current priority mission to attack the Cerberus and to try to get back the, the magical MacGuffin transport? which will defeat the Reapers is the second to last mission, I don't really know that. Let's head for the embassies first I off. Need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Because I want to buy this, uh, I want to see if I go into that Spectre store, I can buy these Cerberus codes they're talking about, and there's somebody who needs them. See if we can clear out some of these quests that are sitting open so that we're left with only uh, Eden Prime, uh, Resistance, and uh, getting Arya's couch. As missions we will never, ever complete. No, no, get lost! I was responding to the end game dialogue there. Welcome to the Spectre Lounge. Have you ever, like, I'll sometimes be at the airport passing through, and you'll see those, like, mentally, like, the Sky Lounge or whatever, like, you know, only five-star gold members of such-and-such such airline club can use this lounge. I always wonder what it's actually like in there. Can't be all that great, but... So we're going to buy this, just because. not allow me to do anything here. I didn't go all the way to the bottom, but whatever. Service encryption codes. Let's check the joinal. Uh, priority, Horizon, we're not doing yet. 
Citadel Shore Leave is DLC. Omega Assist Hyret is unwinnable now. Eden Prime is probably unwinnable. Citadel Dock for Bryson is DLC. Cerberus Ciphers. So it is somebody at the Embassy who wants those things. Athena Nebula and Asari in the Presidium Commons, so look for her. I think we've got that. I don't know that for sure. Hades Nexus. We should have these items, so... <sighs> Somebody in the There's two people in the Presidium Commons who are looking for, like, doodads that we should have found out while exploring space. There's somebody up here at the embassies who wants these Cerberus codes. Let's check our map. Officer Delk. Yeah, simple enough. I'm kind of curious, can we get now the Earth? This would be closed forever now. And they don't even, they didn't even take down the Udina sign. So Delk should be around here someplace. Delking it up as only he can. I had this weird notion that he was taking a, a whiz on the machine there. Are you Delk? Are you Delk? You are not Delk. Pretty sure you're not Delk. Come on, Delk, make your presence known. You are not Delk. You are a guy who has stuck around to continue to thank me for a quest I completed much earlier in this LP. You are... Sorry, war strategist. Similarly, you are there to thank me for a quest I have already done. Not to give me a new quest. Where, where the hell is Del? This guy wanted to urinate on the vending machine in my feverish imagination is is leaving now. Officer Delk should be in the embassy offices, like right about where I'm at. Somewhere in this area. That's where he's... Or she. Where they're supposed to be. And yet, it just isn't happening. No, I know what I said. Maybe I need to like jump off of this balcony, do balcony, and do an impressive like springboard plancha, and then Del will come up like Shark Channing ECW, and then I can uh, hand over the service codes. But probably not. Maybe the game is confused and he's not really there. He's actually uh, in here with Commander Bailey. He does not appear to be in here with Commander Bailey. I'm almost positive talking to Commander Bailey is not going to do anything for this quest. I can springboard plunge it down there. That almost looks like a room that I was in before. Let's talk about springboard plunges. I kind of want to check my inventory, but it doesn't really work that way. The other thing that's killing me is that I feel pretty sure I bought those Cerberus codes before. Maybe I'm thinking of the Geth uh, upgrades that they had to pretend were found rather than given to us by the Geth for political reasons. Okay, well, I'm sure it would give me nothing but reputation, probably like minor war points that we don't need. It would appear that we are not going to complete that quest. And the small amount of money that we spent on it was wasted. Wasted. We will have to get by. Despite this crushing knowledge. And you guys are Delk, are you? I guess we could call him Officer Belk. I guess we could call him Officer Bulk, because I've now decided he's a fatty. Thank you again. 
You're welcome. The heavy breathing clan. All right, Avina, can you tell me where Delk is? No. All right. Well, the Presidium. And I think we might have just hit a couple of broken uh, quests too. The Presidium. We can uh, drop by. You know, quick visit here. Make sure everything is in ordnung. Ordnung. All it's, I was thinking all is gate in ordnung. That's weird. Everything is in order. All is gate in ordnung. That sort of thing. And I think it's time to wrap this session up. I'm just getting tired now. It's got her brain. I was actually LPing with Bobo earlier today. Today was very much an LP day for me, which my voice is starting to go. Anybody on the map here? Tally is here, and a researcher. They're both in the courtyard. I am not at the courtyard, but I need to be keeping an eye out for them. Apollo's Cafe is up here. Apollo Creed's Cafe. Yeah, I can buy this, but I already have it, don't I? It feels like this is an upgrade to it, though. There's Funky New Smell coming down. Ah, it is an upgrade. They, they left the number off the side. Thank you, Earth Clan. My people are so yeah, not listening to you anymore. My people are angry at you for not listening to the end of my speech. So I upgraded that mod. So that mod, for some reason, uh, depending on what screen it's being presented in, sometimes the name got, uh, gets cut off. Aquarium 6. So this is the one that actually, like, without fear of killing them. Yeah, there's this... I've never explored this aspect of the game, but you... You can raise fish, and it might have, like, minor... Uh, there's probably, like... Through, scattered throughout the series, little snippets of dialogue where Shepard talks to other characters about fish. If you raise fish and care for them and, and whatnot. Um, I remember reading something about got, you can buy a rare fish. You have to meticulously feed it every time you complete a mission or it dies. It's a thing. I didn't mean to do that. I actually kind of forgot that that's how it works. I was wondering if I could run. You really can't in this game. I don't see... Well, this is a Blasto poster. It's awesome as that is. It's not really going to help us. I was wondering if NPCs up here were unmarked on the map, but were looking for quest items. And it might be true. Really? And they're already riding the first units into battle? Oh, never mind. That's the guy who wanted us to clone, clone uh, Krogan dinosaurs, and we already did it. <coughs> Rogans are cool with the dinosaur poop, man. You have like angel wings on your outfit. That's kind of weird. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. So there's a lot of guys hanging around. Do I get a brief moment of hope that they're gonna be a new, new side quest? And they're not. Thanks again. We can get yeah. it working. Yeah, yeah, I think we might have, uh, we might just have a couple of broken ones left over. More ones where we never actually got the, uh, items out in space. Although we've been pretty thorough in looking for them. There's a couple of systems where we don't seem to be able to find anything. I don't know how much we scan, but I'm starting to believe there's just a handful of these side quests that are broken. I'm sort of vaguely trying to do a completionist run just for the the sake of showing off as much as I can in this LP, but obviously at this point um, we don't really need more cash because the last few weapons and mods that we haven't bought I, I'm not all that into. I kind of would like to buy the last Spectre, rec you know, Spectre gear weapon that's available. Not a big deal, and obviously we've got all the war assets that we need to win uh, any of the endings that we want to showcase. Kind of hoping now that that uh, concentration mod will level 4 or 5 will pop up in one of these stores because they do kind of uh, move around like level like level 3 will only be available in one store and you'll never see any mods related to it until you find that store and buy level 3 but once you do level 4 pops up in a store that you've been visiting regularly and never seem to have any uh, stuff and I don't think I care about any of these things To 
No. No. Tally is around here somewhere. Hello, Shepard. Hey. Well, Tally is supposed to be around here somewhere. Welcome to Agor Munitions. In theory, I could be using a assault rifle instead of a submachine gun. I guess I just have it in my head for Mass Effect 2 that that is the weapon I should have available to me. No. Thank you for shopping at Super no. Teen Armory. Thermal Welcome scope. Your I don't think it works like a thermal scope does in uh, Metal Gear, like infrared. I think it just guys will light up red when they're in smoke. Otherwise, normal. You are Tally over there, aren't you? The clutch is stabilized. Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. My sister. Tell you're talking to another man that makes me jealous. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? Yeah. No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense I'm lines. hoping to meet one of the females of his species, but <sighs> it just hasn't happened. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. I doubt it. This location didn't exist in Mass Effect 1. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Uh, no. Shields, spares, biotic. You don't have biotic powers. Come on, Tally. Try to keep up. Saren had assassins after you? Refresh my memory. Yeah, come on, I you know about this. I and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. Oh yeah, that's and right. Major William plot point in the first game. The oh, what the hell is it? But Saren's mercy oh, there's a shop right behind her, apparently. I, escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. Well, you were. We saved you. It's part of the plot of the first game. You never told me about this. Whoa, How bad really? was it? Got me in the arm. Oh, that she got shot. Around. I didn't know that. I was running a fever in minutes. They use Palumian rounds. You remember that? It was a thing we had in the first game where they actually let you customize things in a meaningful way. Oh, and of course you mentioned the pilgrimage. We spent 800 hours of the first game telling us about. Called me Suit Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. Here on a fun shift cruise. I don't think he remembers me. Well. You might have changed your suit pattern since then. Actually, she hasn't really. There was some redesign on, on uh, like, the bubicological area, but her uh, paisley pattern, I think, is unchanged. And you're assisting him in spite of that. This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me well, What are those red marks of rage that keep appearing in the middle of your face? I can't waste oh, there's... my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get Happy the ending, ending huh? They need. This is it that kind of massage parlor we're in? Reminded him who I was. Made him apologize. Rubbed his nose in it. But then Maybe he would just he give me I another fever. Oh, well, alone. he didn't literally give me the, the fever. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Yeah. The difference was you. Well, I mean, okay. You helped when it counted because of me. I'll take the credit if that's what you Everything want. Everything looks so peaceful. Everything looks exactly like the inside of my visor. In here, you can almost forget about the war. I never get tired of looking at this place. I always forget about the war. There's like black smoke pouring out of where Cerberus attacked earlier. Pretty sure that's what's meant to be going on there. I never thought they'd let a quarry in up here. Up in here? Up in Presidium here. The Presidium is so beautiful. Almost out Everything of stuff. looks so peaceful. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, uh, she was seeing this guy. Like, I kept seeing this guy through her face. The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. Wonderful news, my sister. <laughs> so, no, not journal. Uh, there should be a researcher here. Well, no, I guess he's going to be on the other side of where... Hold on. I think suggests there's a shop right here too. 
do not believe there is a shop in here. Oh, well. No, I'm... Yeah, I, I've, I've warned you guys that this is going to be a bit of a non-event video, but... It's great video to have in the background while you're doing something more interesting. Found another one. There should be a researcher around here who wants me to give them stuff. There we go. I've recovered the obelisk of Karza. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. It's amazing. Thank you, Commander. I'm not going to look away from this data pad to talk to you about it, but. How's the translation going? Really? Okay, he's not talking to us, so screw him. Um, alright, so, seems like we were supposed to find another, uh, side quest thing, and they're probably just, it's, bearded away in a little corner that I haven't poked my nose into, but, you know what, this is one of the reasons why it's so tough to do a full clear of this game. There's just all sorts of little things that you can miss, and it's okay. It seems like if there was somebody that we had a quest item to hand over and that it was going to make a difference, that they would be marked on the map. But now even Tally seems to be gone off the map, so fine. Let's move on. Move on with the I guess I'll take another look at this shop in case... These two shops. In case, having bought something down there, these two shops which I visited earlier now have the next level up. It doesn't look like it. Wasn't this the shop where I actually bought the thing at? Yeah, so... Never mind, that doesn't make sense to do after all. Not gonna bother with the Huerta Memorial Hospital or anything like that. The uh, thing I want to do to close this video out is visit Purgatory Bar. For reasons that will become apparent shortly. Remember how in the last, like, 800 videos we were fighting with Arya on Omega to... Um, clear out Cerberus, and how she gave the speech about all the work that needed to be done to rebuild Omega. Well, why isn't your name now Sincerely Grateful, Elcor? Hmm... Another opportunity for an exciting balcony dive. <laughs> Anyhow, but I guess I'll check the map real quick. Uh, wait, what was that? Edie Joker and somebody else is still here. Hmm, that can't be. That doesn't make sense. We left that character on Omega rebuilding. Why would she be here? Your turn, Counselor Table. Five points off for Adam. Shaira the consort. <laughs> the banner of the first regiment. Huh. The banner of the first regiment. Regiment. Huh. The half naked waitress. Huh. Yes. Make a required reading. Okay. Why are you here? It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. I like this couch. Since too. we took back Omega. I've been Seriously. consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. Seriously? So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? It's so that you can... I guess it's so that you can finish this if you hadn't already done it. But... She comes back to the Citadel and sits in the same couch where she's been sitting for the entire frickin' game. How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. Well, maybe so the they're invaders do. valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. It's so cool. Eh, I don't care. We'll talk later. 
I'm sure. I'm so totally sure we're gonna talk again. Guy who got me back the space station that means everything to me, even though I apparently left it to come hang out under the Citadel. None of this makes any sense, folks. But it does mean that we can end this. Ooh, this video went long and nothing happened. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that happening. But yeah, that's going to be it for this uh, video and for me this session because I'm uh, starting to lose it. I'm starting to fade. But uh, when we come back next time, folks, uh, the plan is to start the uh, Leviathan DLC. Which, I mean, I don't want to start spoiling it at the last possible second before you can see it for yourself. But there's some kind of interesting background development in it. It's the kind of thing where as they start revealing these points in DLC, you start to feel a little like, eh, is it really okay that this is not revealed to players who didn't pay extra for it? But the alternative is that your DLCs are all really meaningless, like, you know, drive a ship around in the cold and collect weather info type DLCs. So, there's got to be a happy medium between DLCs are just completely perfunctory and DLCs give away stuff that really feels like part of the main story. The next uh, videos are going to be about a DLC that kind of straddles the line a bit, so it'll be interesting to hear what you guys have to say about it. But uh, we'd better stop here before we start getting too much away. Now, I'm the Serious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and please tune in next time for more of Mass Effect 3. Ta-ta for now.